that has become a battle cry. I'll just give you four. Here we go. One, yeah. two, three, four. One. Oh, I just love it. It was fun coming back this morning to do this. And it feels very natural to conduct this fine, fine band. I think it stirs something in me to watch the fans and, and to consider the fact that, that for four or five hours of work, uh, it has contributed a lot to the university and, and to the spirit of, of uh, this fine football town and, and wonderful university. So. Um, I, I take a big, a lot of pride in, in uh, having done that for, for the school. And John lives in Chicago now, but he wants us to know that whenever he wants to see some good football, he always comes back to Columbus and the Buckeyes. Of course, that includes tomorrow's homecoming game against Minnesota. He arranged Hang On Sleepy back in the mid-60s uh, for the Ohio State Band. And Larry says it wasn't by coincidence that he met with the Westland Band. It will also be at tomorrow's game. Yes, both uh, John and the Westland Band will be at Ohio Stadium. Westland, because it is the winner of the Buckeye Invitational. That's when high school bands from all over the state of Idaho competed in Ohio Stadium. Well, they came up the winners, the band, the marching band did. In fact, it's the second year in a row that a uh, Southwestern City Schools band ended up the winner of that invitational. It was, I think, Grove City last year that did performances. Performing is really nothing new to the Cougars of Westland High School, but going into Ohio Stadium will be something totally different for them. <laughs> There was plenty of pressure performing against the best bands in the state during the Buckeye Invitational. This grand championship, though, has now added even more pressure. Marching and playing for the OSU homecoming game this Saturday. And that means a solo for senior Andrea Johnston, something both exciting and nerve-wracking. I know it's going to be a lot different because I've never performed in front of that many people before, you know, and, and it's quite different from our football games here. But I try to stay relaxed, but it's kind of hard, you know. I think about the things that I normally mess up on and practice every once in a while and, you know, work on them. What? Well, tell me, are, are you guys nervous for tomorrow? No! Yeah. No, yes. Two more. One, two, ready, go. Keep the line straight. Band director Mark Hostler already knows what it feels like taking the field at Ohio Stadium. I, I was in the Ohio State marching band myself, and I know what it's like performing there in front of the big crowds, and, and I'm just real happy that uh, these kids are going to get that experience to, to, to do that. I've tried to warn them a little bit of uh, what it'll be like in front of the big crowd and, and uh, just to try to prepare them for it, but it's just an experience they'll have to go through themselves to, to really know what it's like. be a little bit nervous. I'll, I'll try to be, I'll be nervous for them so that they're not. I think the kids will do just fine. They're more than kids now. The teenagers of uh, Westland High School. Football should... players dream about playing in that stadium. And many high school band members also have that dream. As Ed Ross reports for one local band, that dream comes true tomorrow. to march before a sellout crowd at Ohio Stadium. That's the stuff dreams are made of. The students here at Westland High School will have a dream come true tomorrow. They'll play at the pep rally at the St. John Arena before tomorrow's OSU-Minnesota game and then march on the field for the post-game show. How do you feel about playing at OSU tomorrow? Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It'll be a good experience. They're no strangers to the stadium. They won last weekend's Buckeye Marching Band Invitational to win the honor of playing after the OSU game. They beat out 27 other bands from around the state. I was really scared. I felt all these butterflies in my heart. I just, I felt like a beauty queen. A lot of people don't realize that that nine-minute show that they're going to see tomorrow after, after the game uh, has taken hours and hours to, to put together. The 150-member
Upper Westland Cougar Marching Band will be playing tonight at the Westland at Upper Arlington football game. And then it'll be time for that dream to come true. No doubt about it, memories will be made here. Ed Ross, Eyewitness News. game tomorrow right. for the Westland High School Band. I don't think Ed Ross will be there. I can all